Hey, Bastish B here for 64K and welcome to another episode of How To. Welcome to 64K, hosted by Bastish B. So on today's episode, we're going to be looking at the new program, Project Carousel USB. So what this is, is a new program that's been designed to work with the C64 Maxi. It doesn't work with the Mini, it's Maxi only. And this is going to be able to add games to your carousel mode. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, there's already something out that does that, and I've done a video on that. In that older program, you have to manipulate the actual firmware of the C64 Maxi, and I know a lot of people don't like that. And it's also very limited by the memory, so you limit it a lot, and there is a risk that you, you know you could corrupt your firmware. That is always a risk. This new way of doing it, it's Project Carousel USB. So basically you run games through the carousel from your USB that you plug in. So you're not manipulating any kind of firmware and screwing around with that. So it's a lot safer and it's a really cool way of doing it. So on this episode, I'm gonna run you through how to do that very easily. And I'm also gonna give you some tips on stuff that I've figured out while using this program. So as per usual, these videos are aimed at newbies. If you know nothing about the C64 or the C64 Maxi, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna run you through it. I'm going to give you enough detail to get you going and keep it very simple. I'm also going to give you a lot of extra info here so you can use that if you want or not. Okay, and one more small thing before we get going on the tutorial. I just want to give credit to the guys that made this. I mean, these guys are making it for free. You can download this for free, so this is all their own personal time. So here's a little bit about the guys, and then after that, we can get started on the tutorial. So this little project was headed up by Faberfox, Frankie Bart, and Spanonic. This project started in April 2020, where they came up with the idea of loading games on the carousel by overmounting them onto a USB stick. They were also able to change the music, so new C64 tracks play when you swap the menus, which is pretty cool. Spanonic, who is also an admin over at the C64 community online, which is a great forum for C64 Maxi and Mini information, by the way and he contacted me about this project himself. He's obviously a massive fan of 8 and 16-bit computers and loves the C64 and Amiga and received his original C64 back in 1983 and hasn't looked back since. Okay, so first things first, let me show you where you can download this program. So head on over to the c64community.online webpage. I'll leave a link in the video description right to this place and move on down to the C64 Game Zone page. Then just down to Project Carousel, you'll see it there. You can see on the left there, Spanonek posted this and it's a full rundown on how to get this thing going with tons of detailed info. And you can also post your questions all at the bottom if you have any. So right over here, this is where you can download the program. Okay, now that you've downloaded the program on your PC, you need to get yourself a USB drive. I find that these Lexar ones work really well on the C64 Maxi and Mini. Bear in mind, this is only for the Maxi, this program. But these ones work really well, Lexar. I find that you should use like a 32 gig at the most. Don't go over that. If you use one that's over that, there's usually issues. I don't know why. Anyway, it's not necessary. 32 gig is way more than enough to put a complete Commodore 64 library on you and still have tons of space. Bear in mind, these programs are extremely small no matter what. So 32 gig Lexar like this, just a regular USB drive like that. You're gonna need one of these. And now we're gonna go and extract that file we downloaded onto this USB drive. <laughs> So now that the file is on the USB drive, we're going to put it into the Maxi. But before we do that, the Maxi has to be set to have carousel mode start up on default. So this is just a little basic thing how this program works. So what that means is if you have your C64 Maxi, when you turn it on and it starts and it goes straight to this carousel mode, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. We'll go on to the next step. But if you've changed your C64 Maxi, so when you turn it on, it goes to maybe the basic mode or classic mode is what it's called. 
it has your classic Commodore 64 screen. You need to change the default settings so when you power it on it starts on the carousel. So here's a quick little video on how to change that from classic mode back to carousel if you have it set on there. If not, you can just ignore this little piece. And as you can see, when I turn on mine, it automatically goes to this classic mode. That's just the way I got it set up. I like to like load the games old style. So now go to your options, then go down to device settings, and then go to boot mode. It's the way mine is set. So just go across to carousel, make that your default. So now what you do, you turn off the machine, put in the USB drive, turn it back on, and you'll be presented with this. Okay, now you're at your normal carousel screen, go to settings, go down to system information, you want to apply that update. This isn't actually a firmware update, it's simply a fake file that directs everything towards the USB drive. So when the carousel starts up, it automatically looks for games in there, and here it is. So as you've probably noticed, you've got a whole lot of new games that have been added to the carousel. There were games in that download that were automatically set up to work on here. So you've got a whole whack load of more games. So currently with this setup, you can add another 755 games to the carousel, which is a lot. It can be extended to whatever you want though, so it's not an issue. This is just the way it's set up right now. It's been divided into three folders, and I'm gonna to explain to you why that's divided into three folders and how to swap between them. So as you can see, this first folder has games with numbers in them and A to G, all games starting with A to G. So if you wanna to go to the second folder, just go down to the settings, and then go down to load game list, H to R. Just apply it exactly the same. It'll just load for a few seconds and then it'll be back to the carousel with the all next selection of games. And then you can repeat that process for the third list, exactly the same. So I know what you're thinking already and I thought the exact same thing. Yeah, it's awesome, you've got all these extra games, but not all these games are going to be to your tastes. Um, for me personally, I'm not interested in those kind of puzzle Tetris games. So. I don't really want them on there, because those are not games I generally play, I just don't find them interesting. So I want to jam that thing up with like simulations and RPGs and action games that I like. So how do you change this? Can you change this? Yes, you can manipulate this as much as you want. So when you downloaded that, it automatically came with the C64 Maxi game tool that was made by Megastyle. And this allows you to edit the carousel to whatever you want. It's super simple to use and there is a copy of the Maxi tool that's in each one of those folders. So I'm going to show you briefly how to use that. It's not hard to use. You have to take that USB out of here now and put it back in your PC and we can edit it. And here we are on the carousel editing program. The only stuff you have to worry about is the stuff in the middle at the bottom. You know, add and delete. So let's go across and do the most simplest thing. I don't want this 4x4 game on you anymore. It's garbage. <laughs> so I'm just going to go delete. And that's it, it's gone. It's no longer gonna be in the carousel, it's gone for good. So now when you exit this program, it'll give you a warning saying you haven't saved it or whatever. Don't worry about that, just exit it anyway. It automatically saves. So let's just go look at the carousel now and see if that game is gone. And so you can see now, I'm scrolling across here to see where 4x4 is and it's gone, so it's gone for good. And here's just a brief little description on how to actually add a game to the carousel. Okay, so here's what the main page looked like. You go to add, it's going to add a game. Up top here, you've got a description. This is all your basic information you're going to fill in about your game. And below that is where you're going to actually link up the actual game, the cover and the screenshots. And over here is a description, you can make your own description and below this you can set the thing up for port 1 or port 2 games or whether it's a Commodore 64 VIC 20 game. So let's go and start filling in the information. I'm going to put the game Project Firestart on you. It's an excellent game. I'm putting in all the information. I checked it up on Lemon64 if you want more information. Okay, now we're going to add the game. I'm going to choose in a CRT file for it. I'll tell you why later. The rest of the stuff you can just steal off the internet, it's very easy to find. I've already downloaded all the screenshots and the covers. They're all going to need to be in the PNG file, just bear that in mind. With that complete, you're going to be going up to your description. 
Now you can just steal it off the internet, go to Moby Games, search for Project Firestart and just do a cut and paste on their description, it's the easiest way to do it. Now just paste it on there, done. Joystick and the Commodore 64 mode is what we're going to be using, so that's okay. Now it's created it, this is what it's going to look like on your carousel when you eventually put it in. Okay, so tip number one, if you really have a massive games library, you know, that you've uh, downloaded and you use on your Maxi anyway, which I'm sure most of you do, if you want to incorporate that into the carousel here, so you can just jump between both easily, it's super simple. So if you put the USB back into your PC and you have a look at, say, the first file, you've got the three files with all the games, if you go into that, there's a file in there called Extra Games for the loader. So what that is, you can take like all your games and put them into that folder. It doesn't matter how many files is relevant. You can put that into that folder. You're good to go, put it back into the Maxi and I'll show you how to access them. So here's your new carousel look. Go down to your USB drive here and then go to Extra Games folder. That's where you just put your entire collection into. Yeah, they are, whatever it has to be, as much files as you want. So I'm just gonna load up a quick game here just to show you it all works fine. And number two, like I said earlier, right at the beginning, make sure your C64 Maxi is set to carousel mode, which I showed you how to change. If it's set to that, then this program is going to work perfectly. And number three, the most important one, is that you can find out any information about this project at the C64 community page. Spanonek is an admin over there, he's got a thread running for the project USB. So you can go and ask any questions you want. If you want to know more detail about anything, they answer them very quickly, so it's very helpful. So just a quick wrap up. Obviously this is a really cool program. Uh, you should head over to the community and check it out and download it. It's pretty cool. I love the fact that it's, you know, it's on a USB. The whole program's on there. So when it jumps between folders, it's simply just changing stuff on your USB. It's not using the firmware of the system at all. Obviously nothing's perfect. Everything has a little bit of a risk. Just bear that in mind. And I look really forward to editing that carousel exactly the way I want it. It's going to be pretty awesome when it's done. And that's it. Thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. If you can like and subscribe, that'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.